Rhythm is the pulse or the lifeblood of music. It makes the music flow through time. In music notation rhythm is indicated by the note values, the time signatures, and the tempos. A note on the staff does not only represent a pitch, it also represents the duration of that pitch corresponding to a beat. These are the most common notes. Whole note. Half note. Quarter note. Eighth note. Sixteenth note. Thirty-second note. The relationships of the note durations are derived this way. If we start out with one whole note and subdivide it, we get two half notes. Two half notes are subdivided, we get four quarter notes. Four quarter notes are subdivided, we get eight eighth notes. Eight eighth notes are subdivided, we get sixteen sixteenth notes. Sixteen sixteenth notes are subdivided, we get thirty two thirty second notes. Thirty two thirty second notes are subdivided, we get sixty four sixty fourth notes. The sixty fourth notes are rare. To lengthen the duration of a note by half, we add a dot to the right of the note. It's called a dotted note. Thus, one quarter note ordinarily equals two eighth notes, but one dotted quarter note equals three eighth notes. A tie is another way to lengthen the duration of a note. When two notes in a row are the same pitch and are connected by a tie, the first note is lengthened by the duration of the second. The duration of a note can also be shortened by a method called the triplet, a curved line with a number. The duration of a note can also be silenced. This is called a rest. A rest usually indicates the length of silence between notes. As pitches are represented by notes in vertical order, up and down, on the staff, rhythms are represented in horizontal order, from left to right. The staff is divided into small segments called measures, separated by vertical slashes called bar lines. A double bar line usually marks the end of a section. A terminal bar line, the second line thicker and darker than the first, marks the end of the piece of music. At the beginning of the staff there is a clef symbol and a set of two numbers, one on top of the other. These numbers are called the time signature. The top number represents the number of beats, or counts, per measure. And the bottom number indicates the type of note receiving the beat. For example, 4-4 four four time means that there are four beats in a measure and a quarter note gets one beat. Thus, an eighth note gets one half beat, a half note gets two beats, and a whole note gets four beats. Notes that are less than one beat in value are often grouped together by horizontal beams and or partial beams. Finally, the tempo. It is the speed of the beat or the basic pace of the music. A tempo indication is usually given at the beginning of a piece. We'll look at the scales next time.